सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ जपाकुसुम संकाशम काशपेय महाद्युति तमोरी सर्वपापा प्रणतस्मी दिवाक दधी शंख तुषाराभम क्षीरो दाणव संभव नमा शशिना सोम शंभोर्मकूषण धरणी गर्भ संभूत विद्युत्कंति सभम कुमार शक्तिहस्त तम मंगल प्राणमाह प्रियांगु काली का श्याम रूपेणा प्रतिमं बुधम सौम्यम सौम्य गुणोपेबुदम प्राणमाम्यहम दिवना चिषिना चुरु कंचन सन्नीभम उदिभूत त्रिलोकेश तम नमा बृहस्पति हिमकुंद मृणालभम दायत्या परम गुरु सर्वशास्त्र प्रवक्ता भार्गव प्राणमाम्यहम नीलांजन सभासम रविपुत्र यमाग्रज छायामर्तंड संभूत तम नमा शनाश्वर अर्धकाय महावीर चंद्रादीत विमर्दनम सिंहिका गर्भ संभूत तम राहम प्रणमाम्यहम पलाशपुष्पसंकाशम तारकाग्रहमस्तक रौद्रम रौद्रत्मकोरम तम के प्रणमाम्यहम ओं शांति 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 ओम मोर प्रैक्टिकल सेशन this slide from the previous class okay where we took the nakshatra of magha and now we are not taking a march 5 2023 one pm we are taking julia roberts chart okay and you can see julia roberts its magha nakshatra its karmic type 1 because it's ketu it could be ashwini it could be mula but for now it this doesn't make any, much difference and here we have her chart if you are already acquainted with this kind of information but in the right you will also have the karmic cycles so it would be maximum up to 7 and then would be for 20 and then 6 and then 10 because this times are fixed as we saw in the slide number 2 or 3 it's going to change the first it's going to be dependent where this attention mark is so this attention mark represents from the seven years that were allotted to ketu period she is going to take 85% and this is going to change for everyone okay so this is the information of her birth chart it's not a issue for us this is a general uh wikipedia presentation and what are the parameters that we are going to take here we took mainly of artists and politics because it's easy to have a glance on the idea that when karmic periods change our relation to what is happening outside change and uh, for artists this is very uh, tangible because we can see you're going to see that almost all the cases there is a roof not roof there is a um a, a 60 to 70% correlation at least it can be more okay but this creates one important consideration before we start i'm not saying that it's 108% correlation here i'm saying that as we understand those karmic boxes those karmic time frames 
we can adjust better and we don't suffer because we are trying to be still to be the same Leonardo DiCaprio of Titanic when it's on the Saturn Mahadasha, okay? Because Leonardo DiCaprio was on a specific karmic period when he was Jack, Jack, Jack. Now that he is not in the same karmic period, if he tries to do Titanic 2, probably is not going to work in the same manner because even though he's in Leonardo DiCaprio, his time vibrational energy will not make the same impact, okay? This is for Julia Roberts in um, Love, Eat and Pray. This is Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic. This is also Nelson Mandela as we're going to see, okay? There are specific times to be in that role in society and with our belief. We can still try to, to keep that role, but there our inner way to see things is not going to be the same. There is an Al Pacino film that I don't know the name right now, but he's like a rock star and he doesn't like to be anymore a rock star. And both people are trying to make him to go for shows and he says, look, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know if you saw that film. If you know that name of that film, you can write in the chat. But the point is, you can be being called to be a rock star, but you're not necessarily going to be feeling like you were a rock star in that period. Okay? So for our Western mindset, if you are going to be winning billions of dollars and you're not feeling that sensation, you're being successful. But for our perspective here, if you're winning billions of dollars and you're feeling like, uh, not a good word, <laughs> maybe you should not be uh, earning those billion dollars because they are meaningless. They are just digits. They are not actually success, okay? They are not glorious by itself because we need to be with a proper mindset so that that kind of material achievement is felt, oops, that's not good. <laughs> there is a lot of links <laughs> in those um, presentations. So that was for uh, her chart there. Let's see if I can move here. Here I think it's not going to. So this is the good part of this presentation and that's what I'm uh, glad about it. In this side, there is the karmic Mahadashas of Julia Roberts. And I brought this the uh, symbol of Venus for this first period here, 87 to 89. And then you can see in the right that her um, Venus period is from 73 to 93. So here there is the, sun, the Venus symbol and also the sun symbol. And then there is going to come the moon symbol. And then there's going to be a Mars symbol. And then there is going to be Araho symbol. You can check that these things were not created by Thiago Namaste. I mean, what is on Wikipedia and what his, uh, her biographers are saying that the period from 87 to 89 or the period from 90 to 99 or 2000 to 2007. So they are already given, okay? It's a public thing that was not me that decided this is going to be important or not, okay? So, of course, it's not going to be 108% check there. But in this first slide, you can see. And after the session, you can um, make this a little bit more easy with the presentation because this is how many slides? 50 slides. <laughs> There's a lot of slides, okay? You can see that her second karmic period was not the um, worldwide recognition, but during her third karmic period that ends on 99, please observe, the third karmic period, as we spoke a little bit in the previous session, was the moment where she achieved a uh, uh, independency or autonomy, okay? The fourth karmic period, it's the Sukha Mahadasha. It's a period where she could enjoy 
a place of stability without so much stress, okay? Things were going just right. And her fifth karmic period, that is from 2009 here, period 2008. But please, <laughs> let's consider 2009 to 2016, very close to 2008 to 2016, okay? In here, her fifth karmic period, it appears here as career fluctuations. So let's go one step by time. I'm not reading her chart and making an analysis. I'm just doing an overview, apprehension of her chart and say, there is a 70 to 8% correlation of her karmic periods with the Wikipedia standards, okay? And you can go to the Wikipedia and you can see that I did not distort the information so that could fit. It's there, you can check by your own. I'm not saying that everything is going to be just perfect because look, sometimes we do not uh, go with the trend, but usually the thing is, as the karmic period changes, our glasses change. And when those glasses change, the things that we are going to be interested, and in the case of actor and actors, the roles that the person is going to be willing to play, or in the case of Madonna to sing and so, what the person is going to accept as a role or not, you're going to see in Sean Connery. He refused not only Dumbledore, but also Gandalf. Look, <laughs> there are two major <laughs> important roles from the, um, but it, he didn't want it to relate it with that kind of acting, okay? So just like celebrities, just like politicians, just like inventors and so, go through these phases that we can recognize through the films, through the inventions, through the discoveries and so. Also our regular, common, mundane life that is not a celebrity itself, it also has the same impact. Here, some people already took the consultation that we, since the March 11th up to now. And the point is, it's not only about me. It's not only about those celebrities, but there's going to be probably some testimonials in the end if uh, they want to share. If we understand the role of Diocha as a normative, and not a positive. I don't know, I'm not so sure if this it works like this in English, but there are two kinds of signs. One science is saying what is ought to do, and another sign is what is actually occurring. Okay, so when we stood ethics, it's a science or a knowledge, what should be done. Okay, and what we are saying here is that the knowledge of karmic periods is what ought to be done. If we understand those, ti those time pre-configured, I'm not going to say predestined, okay? Pre-configured periods, we are going to understand that the flow of water in our karmic river, it changes directions because time has come when that direction of that river is now flowing in another direction, okay? And this is very much important to understand that we can adapt, we can adjust, or we can, most of the time, suffer, <laughs> okay? Because if we don't adapt and we don't adjust, what happens is that we are trying to keep what was working in a different period, in a period that is not working because it's not in the same time box. Okay? So let us continue a little bit. Where is Chrome here? Okay. So the symbols are here and the times on the side you can check. And 
For example, in the case of Julia Roberts, that is from 2016 to 2034. And here it says to 2017 to present. Because she is in a third, sixth karmic period, this we did not spoke in the previous session. Maybe it's time that she can start to do some retirement process. In the previous session, we just went up to the fifth karmic period, okay? But today we are going to have Nelson Mandela also. <laughs> and you're going to see that Nelson Mandela lives a lot. <laughs> so in the sixth karmic period, Oh, not all. 